Okay, so uh, I'm going to be recording a video that's all about understanding how to use the digital uh, notes uh, using the notes app on an iPad or an iPhone. Uh, these are apps that are built into Apple devices, so you should find them on any iPhone or iPad. Um, right now, I'm just going to be uh, showing some of the features like uh, typing, drawing, uh, using pictures uh, and, and those sorts of things. Uh, to do this etc so let's just get started by clicking on the notes app um, it's the one that has a yellow stripe at the top with three uh, lines uh, in white underneath so we click on that one and here's the note that i made earlier when i was recording a different video so we can just click on the uh, new note button which is the one in the top right hand corner uh, it looks like a square with a line going into it in a diagonal uh, click on that to make a new note and what we do now is, for example, I can just type. So I can say, you know, hello, uh, my name is here. So this is uh, the start of a new note. You can see that the top line is kind of big and bold. And it's uh, just there to represent sort of the title of this note. Um, so I might just make a note of that as well, just to make it very clear. And say, you know, this is a title and uh, we can press return to go to the next uh, steps and we go to okay this is uh, just normal part of the note there we go so let's uh, have a look at some of the features here so obviously you can type like normal now if you look at the uh, keyboard itself you obviously you've got the main keys um, that you might type the letters and everything with but just above the keyboard um, there's sort of three sections here there's a section on the left with a couple of icons there's a section in the middle with some words and the section on the right with some icons so on the left we've got um, firstly the leftmost icon is an arrow and that's the undo button so I can click the undo button to uh, you know remove something that I've, I've done you know, go go back on something that I've done I click click that button again and there's a button towards the right which is redo and that is uh, me you know redoing something that I've just done uh, from here as well we can click on the second icon along which looks like a, a grid of some kind so click on that and what that is is it adds a table into this uh, and from here you know I have options I can copy table share table convert to text etc so let's just say okay you know this is going to be a and this is going to be B and this is going to be you know one and this is going to be two for example there's our table uh, that's something that you might want to have so if you click on each uh, of the sections of the table the three dots then you can for example uh, add another column or you can add another row and you can make the first row bold and all those sorts of things you know just uh, by clicking on the bold that sort of thing so uh, from here as well uh, if we click outside of the table into the normal text area, there is the A, capital A, small a button. And what that is is just to give you some styling options. So you can make things bold, italic, underlined, have a strike through, um, subheading, uh, you know, title, heading, subheading. You can split this whole note into different sections using these kind of uh, stylings. Um, and body is the normal text. So right at the top, you know, where we had the title, that was the using the title we have a heading subheading etc so let's just put a subheading here which is um, you know something along the lines of this is a another section in the note okay and uh, then if you click on there you can see it's gone back to body in the way that you're typing but actually it's still bold and italic because those fonts uh, sorry those font styles will stay there so you turn them off you can tell that it's on if it's orange you can turn it that it's off if it's not um, also yours might look a bit different I've got my iPad in dark mode so you might want to you, you know your, your colors might be different everything might be uh, white and with with black text mine is uh, black with white text um, so then let's have a look at the words in the middle that's more of a feature of the uh, keyboard than it is a feature of the notes but I'm going to talk about it anyway these are sort of suggested words so you know this uh, will help you there you go it's it's just suggesting words that you might want to write based on the things that I've written before um, 
and I've just formed a whole sentence just from using the words that, that they've suggested. So you just click on the word and then it changes to another word based on where you are in the sentence. Now we move on to the icons on the right hand side and we've got three here. We've got the tick, the camera and the pen in a circle. So first we'll go with the tick. We say, okay, so the tick, what it is, it helps you to make a list of some kind, which a checklist. So you can have option one, you can have, you know, uh, your to do uh, item, you know, we can have like wash clothes, you know, make dinner. We can have, you know, buy property, whatever it might be that you want to put on your to do list. And then once you've actually completed that thing, you can tick it by just tapping your finger on that circle that's next to that list item. And then uh, that thing will will be marked as complete with a tick. So that's, uh, that's another thing that you can do here in the notes. Um, looking at the next icon along, the camera there. So if you click on the camera, you can see there's a couple of options. You can scan documents, you can take a photo or video, or you can use your photo library. Now, um, I don't have any documents here to scan with me, but what we can do is use the take a photo or video option. What I do is I'll take a picture of what's in front of me. There we go. And then you can see there, there's the option to retake. If you uh, didn't like that one, it will just take you back to the picture screen. Let me just show you. So I click on retake and I say, okay, you know what? I want to include more of what's in front of me. There we go. Um, and then on the bottom right hand corner, it says use photo. So click on use photo and you're able to actually uh, enter this photo into this note. So you can see here, you're building up this note with different sections, different sort of headings, formattings, all that sort of thing. Um, and then another thing, cool thing that you can do actually is if you click on the photo, you can ver view it in full size. Um, and then on the top right there, you can see that there's that same sort of symbol that looks like a pen inside of a circle or a pen nib inside of a circle. So I'll click on that. And what this is, is it's uh, the ability to draw also known as annotate on top of an image. So at the bottom there, you can see that there's a sort of a toolbar that's come up and uh, it's got a couple of different pens in here. So we've got uh, a pen, you know, you can see this is a, a yellow pen right now because the color on it is yellow. So if I draw, it's gonna draw in yellow. I'm just using my finger and touching it to the screen to draw on the screen. Um, there's a highlighter. So again, I can change the color and, and the highlighter kind of works as a highlighter does, so it's you know a bit transparent actually, so you can see what underneath it. Uh, you might obviously want to use that for highlighting words and that sort of thing. There's also this thing here, which is actually a pencil, so it's very very fine. So you might you know want to kind of use that and how you'd use a pencil uh, for very fine, maybe very uh, precise kind of drawings. And uh, then you can actually use the fourth one along the pink one that's an eraser and say you know what actually I don't want this to be drawn over there you just move, slide your finger or touch your finger to the thing that you want to be erased and then uh, all of that will just be removed from the image um, and uh, the fifth one along we've got this sort of uh, sort of selection object what that means is if you actually uh, move your finger around a certain part of the image it will select what you've drawn and then you can actually then hold and drag and you can move that stuff around so and then you can actually uh you know uh what i've just done there is i've zoomed in and out just by pinching my fingers closer or further away from each other um but yeah so you can see that you can move uh, move this part of the image around and say okay you know what i want this to be over here and all i've done is i've uh, put my finger down on that uh, that bit you can see that it's surrounded by this dotted line um, that that tells you that okay this has been selected for for moving around and, and that sort of thing um, so here what else can I do uh, we've got a ruler okay so let's click on the ruler and you can see that it sh uh, displays a ruler on the screen again a bit transparent so you can see what's underneath and you can actually uh, if you use two fingers and you twist your fingers around you can change the angle of this ruler. Let's say we want to draw a straight line across. Uh, then you can choose one of the pens and use that ruler to help you uh, draw a straight line. Okay, that didn't work properly, so let's just try that again. Uh, we've got the ruler there, we've got the pen. Let's change the color to, say, red. And uh, there you go. So you've just got to 
put your finger against where the ruler is and, and you'll be able to draw straight lines. If you try and uh, bring your finger down into the ruler, it just sort of stops the line that you were drawing. So, you know, let's use the eraser, let's remove some of those extra little bits that we don't need to be there. Um, there you go. Okay. Maybe I'll draw one too many lines. Let's remove that too. So, uh, as you can see, whilst I've been doing all of this, I can change colors by clicking on the uh, small color dots that have been around as well. Um, what you want to do is, as well, is that you have the one that has multiple colors in there. It looks a bit like a rainbow. So if you click on that, then you can actually choose a whole range of colors. Um, I don't believe you can, uh, if you click on the plus button, then you have some extra options. You know, what you can do is you can draw, for example, it draws a square on there for you. You can draw a circle. You can draw, a, you know, a, a, a chat bubble on there. If you want to uh, sort of have something, you can even, if you see the um, blue dots there that help you to, manipulate these images you can make it bigger if you uh you know put your finger on the the uh corner of that that uh that thing that you've drawn then uh you can move it around that sort of thing uh well it's a signature you know it gives you the option to draw a signature i'm just going to write the word signature and you can insert that into the image there you go you can see that signatures there um, maybe if you're an artist you can add a, a little artist touch uh, magnifier as well uh, very very useful you know what you can do is you can uh, have it like basically have a magnifying glass there you can see okay you know where is that uh, what, what does it say over there um, magnify certain parts of the image even parts that you've drawn uh, which, is, which is very good to be able to do that and um, just just I want to show you all the different features that are here um, and uh, then if you click on more, uh, let's ignore that. The important thing is on the left uh, hand side of this little toolbar, you've got a left arrow and a right arrow. So to click on left arrow, uh, it will undo your actions, just like we had before, undo and redo. Uh, and then once you're finished with this, you can actually just click on the done button on the top left there. And you can see all the changes that you made to this image are sure are shown on the, the version that's there. So let's just go back to the actual note itself. Let's click click on the blank space there to bring up our cursor. The cursor is the blinking line that tells you this is where you're currently typing. You know, it's where the focus currently is uh, with the iPad. So um, you know what we can do. What the other thing we can do here is we've got that similar kind of uh, pen nib inside of a circle icon on the top right hand side of this keyboard here. So we click on that. And again, you can see you get the same uh, drawing uh, options as you had earlier. So uh, let's just click over here again. There you go. Let's say, all right, there we go. We can see that I can draw, uh, you know, whatever I want to. I've got all of the same, most of the same options, actually. I don't have the extra things like signature and square and all that stuff, but I at least have uh, still got, you know, the ruler. If I really wanted to draw a square, I could just choose a uh, color and just draw a straight line. There you go, you know, another straight line. Obviously, you know, you find whatever you want to use this for, but the point is that you are able to do this uh, if you want to. And uh, if you find that it helps you in making notes to be very um, sort of uh, using, using your hands or writing, um, you know, making notes on your iPad just means that you can keep all of your notes with you wherever you go uh, without having to carry a heavy notebook you can make see how many different notes i've got here on the left hand side um and you know there, there's lots of other note apps as well um evernote and OneNote are very good i use both of them um this notes app is, is is very good itself um and plenty of other applications so this was just a quick tutorial of, of how you can things with notes you know something that you can do is you can delete notes so let's just go to this one here for example and uh, if you see on the top right hand corner the yellow symbols you've got um, the one that looks like a dustbin that's what you use to delete notes and you've got the one that is a uh, square with a line going into it that's to make a new note and then you can also even share notes to other people by using the share button which is the square with the line coming out of it the arrow coming out of it 
and you can share this to whoever you want by email or whatever it is so that's a full kind of rundown of, of how to use the notes uh, digital note taking you know you can make as many notes as possible you can uh, actually uh, uh, sort them in fact as well into different folders so if you see there what I did is I clicked on um, folders on the top left and here it shows me all of the folders that I have so I click on new folder let's just call it uh, technology or tech so for now there we go I've got a new folder and I can even move my notes so let's say put my hold my finger down on that note it gives you a preview of what that is and I can click on move say okay let's move that into tech folder um, and then I think that just errored but move into tech there we go so if we go to the tech folder now we see that I've got this uh, note here that I just moved over into this folder if you hold your finger down you see there's a few other options as well delete share lock note so lock note means that you can't make any more changes to it and uh, pin note means that it's always going to be the one at the top uh, of the list okay and the last thing that I want to show you is that there is this uh, icon that is two arrows diagonally facing away from each other and if I click on that symbol then um, it basically makes the note full screen so I have even more space to write and draw and everything that I want to do and if I click on that symbol again uh, you can see that it uh, brings me back to the option of seeing the list of notes as well so that's the full tutorial of kind of how to use the notes digital note taking on the iPad um, it's quite similar on other devices as well you know you you might not have uh, applications that are built in but you will find uh, other good applications like Google Keep um, OneNote uh, Evernote those kind of applications provide similar sort of functionalities um, so go play around, enjoy and make lots of digital notes.